In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to show you how to make a pretty nice looking lower third by using only the tools that are available in Adobe Premiere Elements. It's going to be something that you'll see in a moment. We'll show you an example and then we'll show you how we constructed it. The first thing I want to bring into my project is my background. So I'm going to add some media, go to my files and folders, and now I'm going to take uh, this item here and bring that into my project. It's in my folder. I'm going to take it and put it down on video track number one. I'll just do our drag and drop, and now we're set with that part. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to create some graphics. They will be on video track 2, 3, and 4. So the first thing I do is I go to my text area at the top, click on New Text, Default Text. Now what I want to do here is make sure I click on the arrow. I'm going to grab the text and simply press the Delete key and remove it. Because we're going to put a shape on. So I'm going to take my Line tool here and we're going to drag a line on the screen right about there. I can go off as far as I want, that doesn't matter. I'm going to take the color option here and we'll change the color of it. I'm going to make it more of a golden yellow here and click on OK. So now I have my line. Now if I look carefully, where did the line start? It starts at the beginning and I'm OK with that, but I want to make it larger so I will lengthen it. And I'm going to call, I'm going to uh, right click on this and rename it. We're we'll going to call it bottom. Now, if I go to my project assets, I have my title for which is my line. I'll rename it here as well. And now I'm going to right click and copy it and then right click and paste it. We're going to call the copy of it top. Okay, in a minute we're going to add the top, but let's go back into our bottom area here. And I'm going to keyframe this line. So with the bottom one selected, I'm going to click on the Effect Editor on the right side. And we'll go into the Motion area. And here we're going to set a keyframe. Let's assume I want the line to slide in for about three seconds. So what I do is I move my playhead to the right. And uh, we see the time over here. And so what I'm going to do, I want it in in about three seconds. I can use the left or right arrows on my keyboard to get precise by the frame. And then what we'll do is we'll click on the position and that sets me a keyframe at three seconds. And so at three seconds, the line will be there. Let's back up to the beginning. I'll set another keyframe. And now I want this way off the screen. So I'm going to simply type 2800. Enter. And what that does, it will set that keyframe starting at 2800 and going to three seconds. So if we go ahead, uh, we're going to close this. We'll render this. And now when I go ahead and play it, there's my line coming in just like I wanted it to. Now we're going to take the other line called top and we it doesn't really matter what track we put it on but I'll go into my project assets and take my top. We'll put it on video track number three. We'll lengthen it to match the others. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same keyframing on the top one. But you notice the top is right now sitting on top of the bottom. So what we need to do in this case with, with the top highlighted, we're going to take the mouse and we're going to move it up about the width that we need here. Now you have to be very careful not to get the length left or right off and I don't have a grid to snap to here uh, but I think I'm pretty close. Then we're going to go and do what we did before. We'll go into our motion tool. We'll move over three seconds. Okay. 
okay and then I'll set a keyframe here click on position and I have a keyframe go to the beginning set another keyframe change this to the same of 2800 So now if I play what I have so far, I have the two lines coming in approximately the same time and the same length. I see I'm a few pixels off here, but for the sake of this illustration, we won't worry about that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add a uh, graphic in between the two lines. I'll click on the timeline at the top or the text at the top. Click on new text, default text for the third time. And then uh, again, what we're going to do is we will take the text that it wants us to use and delete that. And this time we're going to use a square. Give myself as much screen real estate as I possibly can here. And then I'm going to draw my graphic on this part of the screen. It can go off to the right. It doesn't really matter. But I don't want it to overlay the yellow line at the top or the yellow line at the bottom. Now, if I had the full screen to edit on rather than the smaller screen, I could be a little more precise, but we're not capturing my entire screen, so we'll do it this way for now. Next thing I want to do is change the color of this. Uh, let's change it to a gradient, a linear gradient. Let's make this first box a little bit gray and the second box a little lighter gray. Okay, now we have our uh, gradient here. Another thing I'd like to do is do a little keyframing on this as well, only this time we'll use opacity settings. And what I'd like to do is make it so once it is uh, where I want it, it takes just a few frames to become fully opaque. I'll do it there. And we'll move it back to the beginning and I'll make it uh, uh, totally transparent so it will come on the screen that way. So what I'm going to do is go back to my my timeline and we're going to look at our uh, our item here. Now I came in at three seconds so what I want to do is move this back so it starts at three seconds. So I'll take my timeline indicator and we'll move it to about three seconds in the project Maybe three, point, three seconds, two frames is great. Right click on it and set a menu marker. I don't need to title it. And then I'm going to take the bar and drag it. It'll snap to that marker. And then drag it out for a duration to match the clip. Now once I've rendered it, I'll show you a little bit about what we see here. Go ahead and play that. Lines come in and then I have my gray area. The next thing we do is something you may be very familiar with. That's where we actually put in our titles. So we're going to pause this, simply go to our text, our new text, our default text, and we'll do a little bit of titling here. I'm going to click on style and choose this style over here. Go back to my text and I'll go to impact as my uh, text type type in uh, this gentleman's name and then we'll take our our tool to move the text we'll move it over here and now I have the text on the screen the only thing I have to make sure is where do I want the text I want it in probably a little earlier just a little bit after the gray area stops so we'll move it back to here and then and make it larger and then if I want to give the gentleman's a particular uh, role beyond his name I'll add that and then we'll get back to this for you and so now that we've added another title Let's look a little bit at what our project looks like so far. 
we have our lines coming in and then the box appears then the gentleman's name and then his title so this is a very easy way to do this only in Adobe Premiere Elements I would recommend that in most cases you'd like to create this entire graphic in Adobe Photoshop Elements and then it saves you lots of steps it also gives you a bar that you can use in repeated projects so you don't have to recreate it every time you want to do a lower third like this but you will still have to keyframe it in order to cause it to give you this kind of effect on the screen